Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Mr. Miller here again. Uh, this is Tuesday, uh, the 5th of, of March, 5th of, not April, not March, it's the 5th of May. Uh, Cinco de Mayo, as they say, uh, which is not Mexican Independence Day. It's just the site of a big battle or the time of, or the day of a big battle, I guess. Uh, but Cinco de Mayo, it's usually the time when Taco Bell gives away free tacos. I don't know if they're actually doing that this year. Uh, they might be, they might not be. I don't know who's who can say really um i guess taco bell could but uh anyways we are here for another day and i have uh prepared for you a worksheet to work on for the day uh this worksheet is uh pictured here uh, it is titled lyndon b johnson's great society uh, as you can see here uh, Lyndon B. Johnson, the president during uh, the mid-1960s after John F. Kennedy gets assassinated. Uh, so LBJ, as we call him, had a lot of different proposals, a lot of which uh, were started by John F. Kennedy and finished by LBJ. Uh, but I have listed here uh, 10 different laws or acts that were passed, uh, programs that were created, uh, 10 different laws or acts that were created. You need to look up each one of those. Uh, you probably don't necessarily need to use your textbook if you don't want to, but you can, you should maybe. Uh, so there's one on page 700 or maybe two on page 700. Uh, and then there is uh, a bunch more on 714 to 717 up at the top there. So you can use your textbook. You can also Google search if you need to, uh, but you need to look up each one of these terms and figure out, okay, what were the major uh, the major provisions, the major details of each of these acts. Okay, so the Civil Rights Act, what was it? What did it do uh, specifically? So the major details of each uh, of each of these acts or programs. Once you get those all done, uh, on the back here, I have a mind map where basically it's just a form of a graphic organizer. You have to organize all 10 of these into different groups. So some of these uh, Great Society programs fought poverty. Some of them were trying to protect the environment and consumers, people who are buying goods or, or using goods. Uh, and then others are focused on racial and ethnic equality. So you need to organize those in the proper place. Each one is going to go according to, or each one is going to go on one of these, uh, on the end of one of these lines here. Uh, and there's only 10 lines, so you can't put them in more than one spot. So if I'm going for uh, the Civil Rights Act, which I'm pretty sure I already know about, at least a little bit about um, advocating for, uh, I guess, desegregation in the, uh, in the United States, at least in terms of public places. Uh, I'm probably going to end up putting that under racial and ethnic equality. So I'm going to put a number number one uh, right there, or I'm going to label it uh, Civil Rights Act right on that uh, right on the end of that stem there, and then I'm going to go through for the rest of them. So um, that is all I really have to do. Uh, we are working on this today and tomorrow. So if you do not finish all of this today, that's fine. Uh, if we were back in class, we would be spending probably a day and a half on this anyways. So uh, do not feel like you have to finish it all today. If you do not want to or cannot finish it all today, that's fine. Uh, work on it again tomorrow. So tomorrow I will come uh, to talk to you guys again and explain all this again. Uh, but again, uh, get that uh, finished up by tomorrow so you've got two days to work on it. Uh, real quick, uh, just a uh, just a quick reminder. Uh, the marking period ended on Friday, but if you're still turning in stuff, you can still turn that stuff in. I'm not promising to get it on to the marking period, uh, but I will update it eventually. It might not get there uh, by the time that the first uh, that the report card comes out because I have to have my grades turned in within the next day or two uh, for that. So it might not be on that uh, on that. Uh, what's it called? Uh, report card. But it will get there eventually. By the sixth marking period, when the final report card comes out for the year, I will have updated all that stuff. So keep turning stuff in just because uh, it is uh, Tuesday now and you may still have some stuff uh, to do. Uh, a handful of people are going to end up with incompletes uh, on the marking period. Uh, and that's going to be prompting you, hey, you need to turn in more stuff because you haven't passed yet. Uh, so turn in more stuff and then uh, that will be able to be turned in when you get those. So keep turning stuff in. I'll update it as they come in and as, as long as I can update it, I'll, I'll keep updating. Uh, but um, 
basically it will get updated by the end of the school year anyways. So keep turning that stuff in just because the marking period's over doesn't mean that the grades are locked in at this point. Keep turning that stuff in. So uh, that is all I've got. If you've got questions about any of that stuff, let me know. Otherwise, go ahead and work on that uh, Linda V. Johnson's Great Society page, uh, and then I will come back uh, to talk to you guys again tomorrow. So see you then.